Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Vue.js video tutorial, we will learn about the templates. These are the points of this video. We will see what is the template, how we can display a normal property, how we can make a button click, what is the constant tag and how we can use them, how we can use the operators, how we can add a normal HTML and how we can make a button disable and enable and all right. So about them, we, we will also learn many things. So the first question is what is the template? So I just want to show you this is the template area and here we can use any JavaScript property directly with the double curly braces and some directives also right we have to just uh, some v template tags like v uh, if and v on like this right and uh, we can perform many features of the javascript directly here without writing the actual javascript code all right so i will show you everything step by step so now let's continue with the video so first of all i am just going to define a data method what is the data method in the data method we can define the properties how so let's return here and in the return we will return a tag and here i can make a property like this like anil so name is a property here all right and if i just want to run it then i can just write here and use the double curly braces here and just use a name and here you can see that i got the name here so this is the way that how we can use the javascript properties in the directly in the html without just uh, getting the class and all like inner text and get element by id and all all right and this is pretty similar to the mm, ng template with the angular also and here we will call it this template to the v template so uh, after that uh, now let's see that how we can make a button click all right so let's define a button here and just right here click me as in text when you just want to uh, call any function or something then you can directly call them in a function with the name of method so i have to define this method all our functions will be defined in this area so let's say i am just going to make a method let's say hello and in this hello method i am going to define a alert hello click something like this all right ah uh, yeah one more thing actually this is a property not the function right so now let's define here v on and uh, let's just use a click and this is the way that how we can make a click event and in this brackets i can define the method name like hello so now let's let's try to call it here you can see that we are able to call the function right so can we change this value on the button click yes we can how so just right here this dot name can be peter and you can see that this is changed in the peter so now let's see what is the constant tag or constant property so now you can see that we have the two tags here uh, did i saved it no yeah if i'm just going to click they both are changing so if uh, one of them i am just going to put here v minus once that means it will be update only once all right so whenever i'm just going to click on it it will not going to change why because for the first time the name is defined anil and this will be going a constant for now so now you can see that the second tag is changed but first tag is remaining same all right so uh, we can do some more things like we can just uh, perform here some arithmetic operations also so like one plus hundred and here you can see okay i actually i have to use your tag um p tag and we must have to use a double curly braces here for just like the operation now you can find there we got one zero one and if i just put here minus then you will find that we got the minus 99 all right and we can even multiply here divide here anything that we want here we can do all right so how we can just perform some conditional operators also so 
let's say I have a property with the name of OK right and it will be a true by default if OK is true then I will just show you yes otherwise no so just simply write here uh, mm, OK is true then let's show here yes else no what we are getting here we got the yes all right and let's change this okay to the false on a button click and now it will be seen here no so we can just make it toggle also just write the opposite of this dot okay all right oh uh, my bad so now it will be yes and no going to be toggle here perfect so okay so now let's see that how we can add some html tag so let's say the first html tag i am just going to define here like uh, head header and uh, i am just going to use property like okay my bad let's copy it once again and paste it here perfect so now if i am just going to use here uh, this tag directly then you will see it will just print normal text not running rendering it as an html that how we can run it as an html so for that uh, let's say we can take a tag here and here just simply use here v minus html and here just simply put here header and now you will see we got the complete html render tag here so how we can make this button disable this is also and now you will learn that how we can add the two property on a single tag also so this is also pretty simple just use here v and uh, v minus bind and in that uh, bind we just want to disable disable property and here we have to put the property so just write here bt and disable and just write here to and this property we can just directly use here here and now let's see the button is disabled so the similar thing uh, there is a lots of uh, more properties here but i cannot show you all of them because it will take a very long time but i already told you that how you can uh, normally use this property so if you just want to mo uh, learn more about it then you can just click on a template syntax and you will find like raw html we already seen that raw html and the text and then attribute like bind we just learned the, some disable properties right some javascript operations we learned this much also some directives like if condition we learned this in the previous video also right so there is a, some more properties if you just want to learn then you can see from here also so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care